What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back with another episode of Youth to Glory, and today I've got the Vanarama National League first couple of fixtures. We got York away, Dagenham and Redbridge, who I believe came up with us uh, at home, and then Aldershot away. Um... I'm going to play at least three games, maybe four. We'll see how, uh, how quick the games go. But uh, preseason, not too bad. Uh, managed to draw with Newport County, a League 2 club. Um, so they're a division above us. Uh, didn't take control of any of those games, though. So, you know, I'm not, I don't really care about the, the draws or the losses there. Didn't pick up any wins, but uh, it's just preseason. So let's get into the team. I'm not going to go through all the transfers, uh, just because, you know, you're not going to recognize any of the players at this level. But... Um, I did make a mistake. I brought this guy in on a uh, like on a Bosman ruling. At the end of his contract. It is Morales here, Miralles, I guess, because uh, he's Spanish. He is 24. So obviously, I'm not supposed to be signing anyone that's less than 21 years old. Or no, I'm not supposed to be signing anybody that's 22 years old or older. Um, this is the first time I've made the mistake. I might make the mistakes like that again. I'm not going to like not play him. I mean, you know, I he's already signed for the club. He's our best goalkeeper, but he's not like you know, a world beater, or at least a, a world beater for this level, so I'm just going to play him, he's he's still only 24, um, so my bad on that one, but hopefully I can, uh, you know, manage to pay attention to that um, for the rest of this series, but uh, haven't made any other signings like that so far, so we're all good there, Gurizeta is still in the uh, starting 11, as well as Barrera and uh, Felo Guaroso. But then we brought in uh, Corey Jordan here, I believe on a free transfer. Well, yeah, all these transfers are free transfers. Uh, and we got a couple of loans. But um, he's a ball-playing defender, which is very nice. He's five stars for this league, uh, so that's really good. He is probably one of our best players. And we got uh, Cabo here on loan from Charlton. He's got slightly better stats um, than our uh, our old winger, <clears throat> Wiltshire here. Um Mainly in the the like mental side of the game, but uh, we still got Uwusu on the left. We still got Ashby as our deep line playmaker and Nysel as our uh, advanced playmaker. Still got Dees up front uh, with Wershuski and uh, Dees came back from injury a little bit sooner than I expected, so that's perfect. Uh, but he got 55 goals in 42 games, 55 goal contributions in 42 games last season. Um, he has dropped off a little bit. He's only two and a half stars now. He's not really got the best stats, but he didn't uh, last season. Um, and he still produced the goods, so hopefully he can continue that form this season. We do have other options. Uh, Wyszewski improving uh, a little bit. He's uh, one year older. He's developing more into a target man. Hopefully he can uh, score some goals for us. Uh, we got uh, Francilette here on the bench. Um, he's new. Wilson's new. He's a really good player. He could even potentially start, but uh, I brought him in because he can play on the right, and I'm training him to play on the left. Um, so he's going to be a good option there. Sanders, another new player, again, who probably could start. Um, but for now, I'm going to start him on the bench. But he might work his way into the starting 11. Look at that, though. He's worth 400,000 coin, coins. We're not playing FIFA. Uh, nice was worth 800k, though. So nice was worth more. But uh, we'll see We'll see if Sanders' uh, performances warrant him a starting place. Beko, I've brought back on loan for a second season. He's not, uh, he's not great, but he's not terrible. And then we've got uh, Sterling here on loan from Bolton. He's a pretty decent backup option. Um, and then I've also brought in this guy who's, uh, he's got basically pace and shooting. Um, we've got a target man and i got a poacher. So that's, uh, the, the main overview of the team. Um, hopefully a lot of these players can, can stay in the squad and improve, uh, and, you know, play in the next league and so on. Uh, but a lot of them probably will be replaced, but let's get into this first game against York. Opening game of the Vanarama National season. We're on the front foot so far. 63% possession. Got a couple of highlights there. None for them so far. No goals, though. Only th only four shots in this game, total. Which is not great, but uh, hopefully we can keep dominating this game. And we put a goal in the back of the net. Raul Dees with the opening goal. And his stats don't matter. Where Shusky gets on the score sheet as well. Really, it doesn't make sense why Dees is so good. But uh, he's, he's producing the goods yet again this season. I'm going to get Barre Barrera out and uh, Wyshewski out. So I'm going to put Wilson on the left, give him his first game there. And then we're going to get Sterling in there, who I believe is yeah, a target man as well. He's got the stats for it. Make sure they can uh, be fit for the next game. We should be able to see this one out, maybe even score a third. There it is. D's on a hat-trick now. I'm not going to have time to make another sub. And that is going to be the end of the match. 3-0 away. Perfect start to the season. And uh, we do have a pretty decent squad. I mean, the uh, the... The ability rankings, or like ratings here, the, you know, five stars, four stars, whatever. Um, we've got a very good team, because this is like relative to our division. So, you know, 
we're, we're the Real Madrid of this division, uh, just based off of like the stats. Um, so hopefully that can uh, can you know show through, and we can uh, easily win the title this season. Maybe even make an FA Cup run, get a little bit more funds. We are in the negative, just like last season. Um, we're 6.25k uh, per week over our budget, but again, I don't have to worry about the financial side that much. You know, they're not like uh, there's not any downsides really to having to having that negative funds. Uh, a lot of players are gonna be too tired for this one. Can D's start still? He's overly relaxed, but he's he's gonna start. Um, all right, so Sanders is gonna get his first start. Uh, let's see who else we're gonna play. Lakin, another new player as well. He could play for Ashby if needed. Uh, I'll get Wilshire back in there. Alpha can't play on the left yet. I think it's gonna have to be Rowe. Yeah, I didn't actually bring anybody in that can like directly play that position. Um, Baker could, but he's not quite good enough. So now we need uh, another player on the bench. I've also brought in this guy. He got uh, some tackling stats. He's an advanced playmaker now, but I brought him in as a ball-winning midfielder. We'll get him a chance on the on the subs bench. And that's going to be the same team. All right, Dagenham and Redbridge. Again, I'm almost positive um, came up with us uh, from the league below. And there we go. It's 1-0. D's scoring yet again. Doesn't matter if he's overly, overly relaxed. Unfortunately, it's 1-1, but I wouldn't be surprised if Dees gets himself on the score sheet again. He is an absolute monster. He's not worth a lot, but uh, hopefully nobody uh, nobody comes in for him. I wouldn't really want to sell him for any less than like just an absurd amount. Come on, though. We need to get a second goal here. This is a lot easier than the first game, but we're struggling a lot more. I'm going to let this highlight play out. I guess I'll let the corner play out, too. Nothing come from it. All right, let's get uh, Gerzet out, Wilson in again. Um, we'll get Ashby out. I, you know, I'm going to play him as a ball in mid. He's got the stats more suited to that. And uh, let's see. I'm not going to make I'm not gonna make my third sub. I could have got D's out, but I think he's, he's just too good to drop. And unfortunately, we're going to lose this game. There's not enough time left, I don't think. Uh, Anderson with the 89th minute goal and just doesn't make any sense at all, that result, but um, we've managed to uh, lose to probably the worst team in this division. They did get, they did just get promoted, right? Oh, no. Okay. That's not that's not too bad. They actually finished sixth last season. I think that, I think that said. Um, so that's not, that's not terrible, not a terrible result, but, uh, you know, at home, we need to be winning those. All right. Um, let's see if I can get my, my starting 11 back out there. Deez is again a little bit tired, but he's gonna start this game unless unless it like specifically says that he needs a rest or if he's got like 90% fitness, he's gonna be starting every game of uh, this season. All right, back to our, our same lineup that we started the episode with, and it's one no, and it is Raul Deez again, but they level it up. Alder shot is that this team? I don't actually remember. Given the uh, the. the like, shortened name. I'm guessing it's older shot. Wow, we only have one shot on target. Um, is anybody tired enough to get subbed at this point? Nah, not really. Wouldn't really be worth it, I don't think. We do need a, a change in our in our play this match, though. But, oh my goodness, D's. Maybe, maybe we don't need more shots. We just need to get D's through. But, we need to have them get less shots because they're putting them away. Alright, 2-2. Two, two. Let's get Ashby out. Let's go a little bit more attacking. We'll play with two advanced playmakers here. And I, I guess I'll get Wyshewski out. I don't want to get D's out. But I want to get another striker on there. Change things up a little bit. Come on, boys. I mean, a draw is not terrible, but need to be getting these wins. All right. Um, I'm going to get Igerzete out again for Wilson. He, he'll probably make a lot of appearances off the of Susbans this season. Wilson might even start a few. Closing on the, in on the end of the game now. Red card for them. Can we take advantage? Last opportunity, and we can. It's Nysel in the 93rd minute. Makes it 3-2. And there we go. Second win of the episode. Cabo improves a little bit. And that puts us in fourth place after three games played. Only two teams um, with a perfect record so far. And uh, surprisingly, there's a few other players in there with him. But Dees is the joint top goal scorer with five goals. 
in his opening three. Very impressive from him, and uh, I would say a very good start to the uh, to the season. Uh, so hopefully we can go on and uh, and do well. I'll probably see you guys next, maybe at the halfway point. Maybe if there's a good FA Cup uh, fixture or something like that. Has it been drawn yet? It hasn't. Um, but yeah, if we make it to the, a decent run in the FA Cup, that's probably the next time I'll see you guys. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this episode. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.